fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Shod hoofs racing down the trails of yesteryear, carrying the famous Lone Ranger into thrilling new adventures. People of seven states have seen him ride into daring action in the cause of justice. Stories of his many heroic deeds have come down through the years to be told once more. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! That's it, old fellow! Stretch out those great legs of yours! That is waiting for us! We must get there in time! High old Silver! Away! A mysterious band of outlaws terrorized the southwest of the United States. They burned homes, stole cattle, and murdered ranchers. The law was helpless to stop this, for they never left a trail behind that anyone could follow. As our story opens, we find the Lone Ranger and his loyal Indian friend Tonto racing toward the flaming buildings of the Box X Ranch. Get him up, boy! It looks like more work of the Raiders, Tonto. That's right. Come on, Silver! We might get there in time to find the clue. No man left alive there. I'm afraid not. Come on, Silver! This is the third time we've seen this sort of thing. Possibly this time the gang may have made some mistake. Oh, oh, Silver! Oh, 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 boy! Oh, Steady. There's hardly any use to look, but perhaps there's someone here that can be helped. Tonto! Is the man still living? Help. Steady. We're here to help you. See how badly he's hurt, Tonto. Oh, 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 my head. Feels like it's most cracked open. Uh, him got big bump on head. Not not hurt bad. They hit me with a rifle, but I still can't see so good, mister. Take it easy. I, I thought I heard someone groaning a while back. Maybe maybe someone else has survived the raid. Look around, Tonto. Mm, me, too. Oh. Here it is again. Help him, stranger. Here, other color lie. Who is it? Is that you, Sheriff Burns? I thought them devils had killed everyone. That sounds like Tom. If only my head had clear. It's me, all right. You hurt bad, Tom? They they got me in the shoulder, but it ain't so bad. You'll be all right soon. My eyes is better now. Get around the light there so as we can see you, stranger. I reckon we ain't done for. Lie still. You've had a tough time of it. A masked man. Part of the outlaw gang. And an engine. We aren't outlaws. We saw the fire and came to help. Is this your ranch? It's Tom Halstead's. Or at least it was. Ain't nothing left now. That's Tom, you see. I'm the sheriff. I see your badge. The name is Burns. Now, if you really aim to help, you can find a way to get us into town. We'll get you to town, all right, Sheriff. Have you any idea who the raiders are? No, we couldn't see none of them. This isn't the first raid by that same gang. They've struck at half a dozen ranches east of here. They have? Why ain't we heard about it? They never leave survivors. The news travels slowly in this country in spite of the railroad. Then we're lucky to be living. What else do you know about them? They attack at regular intervals. And no one has found their trail. Is that so? Three weeks ago, the same men attacked 40 miles to the east. 
three weeks before that, they made another attack. And just three weeks before that, another. Land sake. And no trace of the cattle can be found. Never a trace? How do they hide it? I don't know, but I have an idea, Sheriff. Is your head better now? Yeah, it's aching, but I'll be all right. Well enough to ride in the morning? Where to? The trail the outlaws. If my idea is right, I want you along when I prove it. Mask or no mask, stranger, I'm with you. And you can count on me, too. You can't travel with that shoulder, Tom. Take it easy for a few days. Where? Them embers is what's left of my house. You come to town and stay at my place, Tom. We'll take you there as soon as Tonto finishes the bandaging. The Lone Ranger proved himself willing to help the sheriff. He and Tonto took the lawman and Tom Halstead back to town. But before the masked man left, he had won the sheriff's full confidence. The following day, the ranger and his Indian friend spent several hours studying the ruins of the Box X Ranch while waiting for the sheriff. That's Sheriff Burns coming now, Tonto. Mm, him right on time. Tonto, I'm sure that our idea is right, but it may be hard to prove. Mm. Move there. Move, 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 move. Yeah, here I am, mister, right on time. What's this idea of yours? I'll tell you later. Tonto and I have already found a trail that might be that of the outlaws. Found it? How'd you do that? My friend is no equal in reading trails. Hmm. I've heard that sometimes engines are uncanny that way. You riding that trail? We've just been waiting for you. Well, I'm here. Let's travel. Yep. Uh, Come on, uh, Silver. about that engine part of yours. He's better than bloodhounds when it comes to following the trail. And that ain't all. No? He fixed Tom Halstead so his town will be as good as new in another day or so. Tom was raring to go this morning. Would have, too, if I hadn't kept him in bed kind of forcible. I'm glad of that. His shoulder will be completely healed in a short time. Sure it will. Then he'll be able to help us in the attack on the outlaw gang. Attack? Gosh, you ain't figuring on attacking them critters, are you? Why not? Well, we can't get enough men together to go, go get them. We'll worry about that when we've located them, Sheriff Burns. You seem to know what you're doing. Leastwise, I hope you do. Oh, that's what I Oh, my goodness. Why have you stopped, Tonto? This is where trail ends. But the railroad tracks, huh? Uh, good. Good? I don't see what's good about it. There ain't nothing here but them railroad tracks for as far as a man can see. And those tracks, Sheriff Burns, tell the entire story. Eh? Tonto, are you absolutely certain the trail of the cattle stops at the railroad tracks? Mm, that right. If the trail did go beyond here, we could follow the cattle a darn sight easier. Up to here, there's so many hoof marks that they're all mixed up. That's just why those outlaws have been so secure. I don't savvy. Get off your horse, Burns. Let me show you something. All right. <coughs> this flat rock will do to draw on. I'll use this sharp stone to scratch lines. Here. This is the railroad track along here. Yeah. Now, over here is the Circle K Ranch. That was the first one to be raided by the outlaws. It's right near the tracks, you see. Yeah. I didn't know they'd been raided, though. All the men were wiped out. The buildings burned and the cattle stolen. Now, coming along toward the west, we find the next ranch. Yeah. That was raided in the same way, just three weeks after the Circle K tragedy. The next ranch was west, and the next one west again. And so on till we come to the Box X. Tom Holstead's place. That brings us right here, where once again the cattle trail ends at the boundary of the ranch. Same thing happened in the other cases? Yes, and that proves that a railroad train was here to carry the stolen cattle to some market in the east. So that's how the polecats moved the Longhorns. It is. Then that means that the next attack should be about due when the next train heads east. Exactly. And it means it should come at Bart Cummins' ranch. That's the next place to the west. I'm sure of it, Sheriff. Shucks, what's the use of being sure? We ain't a chance of getting men enough to fight them outlaws. They got an army of men lined up. All two gunmen and well mounted. And suppose you just do nothing and let the outlaws take over the state. What? That's what you're suggesting. I'm darned if I am. I'm asking you for orders. Just tell me where we'll get the men to fight and then watch my gun smoke. <laughs> outlaw band had their hideout miles beyond the railroad tracks where the Lone Ranger had talked to the sheriff. The camp was well hidden, their trail always covered, and they felt absolutely secure. 
Riding for a ways on the choo-choo train is the slickest stunt I ever heard of. And so is everyone off the trail, including bloodhounds. Uh, Squinty, when's Boss Lacey due back? Mister, take my advice and don't ask no questions. Tain't good sense to ask things about Boss Lacey. He don't like it. Well, I was just wondering. Don't wonder, Savvy. I savvy. Horse, come on. Where's Lacey now? I can tell he's riding a mile off. Reckon he's got the dope on our next job. Maybe so. I wonder what it'll be. I told you not to get too curious. The boss will tell us what we need to know. Gosh, you look so powerful mad about something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He is mad. Hey, you. Yeah? Take care of my horse. I got something to say to all you hombres, and I ain't going to waste words. I just found out that after the raid on the box X, two men were left alive. What horse? Two men. Maybe they seen us. Maybe they can tell what we look like and how we talked. Maybe lead a posse after us. You mean there's a posse on our trail now? Did I say so? No, it... Then shut up! Steve, you were supposed to see that everyone was took care of proper. Yeah, but I... How'd you come to miss out on Tom Halstead and the sheriff? I could have swore they were dead along with the bodies. No, they ain't. Do they tell anything about us, boss? No. They don't know anything more about us now than they did before the raid. But that ain't no excuse for you, hombres. This is the last warning. From now on, if any of you fall down on your job, you get what we give the others. We've gone through all our plans on the next job, the Cummins Ranch. Using the train again? Didn't I say so? As soon as the train's in here... We move in on the ranch. Handle the same as last time, boss? Yeah, except for leaving survivors. We won't need to change our plans, none. Squint, you and your boys take care of driving the cattle to the train. Yeah? Steve, I'm leaving you the job of cleaning out the wadis. And don't miss up again. No, I won't. Reed, you set fire to all the buildings. Yes, si, senor. Some of our own men are working on the ranch. When we make our attack... They'll work from the inside, and we'll work from the outside. <laughs> That's a plenty of slick scheme, boss. Now pass the time as you want, but stay in camp. When the train comes, we start. Squint. Yeah? What's on your mind? Uh, listen, fella, will you tell me just one thing? More questions? Yeah. My curiosity is getting the best of me. I'm hankering to find out how the boss works this here railroad business. Well, I suppose ain't no harm telling you that. Can't see as there would be. You see, it's this way. Lacey has a regular business worked out. He's got an office in Kentonville. That's on the railroad. Yeah, I know the town. A man there hands a sell into a cattle outfit in the east. They buy the cattle. And the man at Kentonville makes a sale. He arranges for the railroad to pick the cattle up at a certain ranch. The ranch we attack, eh? That's right. Don't the firm that does the buying know it's stole? No, the brands are fixed up and changed around. Yeah, what about the men on the railroad? Well, they ain't but two, and they're both in the engine. Uh, don't they know they're loading stolen cattle? They shut their eyes to things for what boss and lazy pays them. He always uses the same men. That's why he has to wait for that particular train. He's even got a man on his payroll in the telegraph office to make dead sure... The right men run the choo-choo train. Gosh, there just ain't no chance to bust up an organization as big as ours, eh? Listen. Not a chance in the world. I tell you, Pard, you're with a smart man when you're with Lacey. Just watch how he takes the Cummins reins. <laughs> It'll be a sight to see. Look out. Here he comes. Now, you new man, everyone in this here outfit is a fast shooter. If you wasn't... You wouldn't be in this gang. That's all. I'm building this gang into the strongest one the West ever knew. You all know what I want from you, and Squint will see that you obey orders. Now we've got our plans made to clean up the Cummins Ranch. Bart Cummins has one of the finest herds of cattle in the state, and I can get top prices for it. Now listen careful, and I'll tell you what we're going to do. The curtain falls on the first act of tonight's thrilling Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
continue our story. You will recall that in the first act of our drama, the Lone Ranger and Tonto rescued the sheriff and Tom Halstead from the burned ruins of Box X Ranch House after a raid by a mysterious band of outlaws. No one in the territory had been able to understand how the gang made away with the cattle they stole without leaving a trail. But the Lone Ranger discovered that the rustlers used the railroad and stole only from ranches bordering the tracks. Our scene opens in the ranch house of Bart Cummings, miles west of the Box X. Bart is speaking to his wife. Oh, gosh, Linda, I'm tired. You have a hard day, Bart? Yeah. Seems like when one thing goes wrong, everything else has to bust loose at the same time. What's wrong? I don't know exactly what's wrong. Nothing to put your finger on, but the hands is all excited about raiding and snoopers. What do you mean, Bart? Well, I told you what we heard about the raids east of here. The box X? Yeah, but I reckon I better not say no more. No use borrowing trouble. Bart Cummins, you tell me what it's all about. Now, Lindy. You ain't worried none about them raiders, are you? Yes, I am. Yesterday, the boys seen a couple of hombres sneaking around and spying on the cattle. Bart, you, you mean... I mean I'm powerful afraid we're in for trouble. But we have plenty of hands to fight. You mean we had. What? I... I didn't tell you before, Linda, but some of the boys deserted a couple of days ago soon as they heard this here raiding talk. Oh. I had to have hands, so I hired whoever come along. And I don't know how far they can be trusted. Maybe you hired some of the outlaws. That's what I've been thinking. I don't like the looks of the new men, but I can't run a ranch without help. It'd be a slick outlaw trick to have men right on the ranch they plan to clean out. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, Lindy, I don't like the looks of things. I got a mind to pack you off to town to live with your aunt till them raiders are caught. No, Bart. I'm staying right here as long as we have this ranch. Well, if there's anything to this raiding business, you won't be safe here. Neither would you. Ain't it so, Bart? Yeah, but... Then I'm staying. If there's any danger, you're not facing it alone, Bart. Coming. Oh, gosh, Lindy, oh. I... Oh. What is it? What's that? Anything wrong? Plenty. We caught this here mask, Tomry, down by the bunkhouse. <gasps> Bart. An outlaw. I'm not an outlaw. If you ain't... Why are you wearing a mask and a brace of six guns? What's the idea of snooping around my ranch? I came here to speak to you. Came here? <laughs> Looks to me like you was fetched. Several ranches east of here have been raided and men killed. Yeah, I know. Your ranch will be next. Why, you... you... see, boss, he is one of them. He's making threats I to... I came bur... here to warn you so that you could prepare for them. You mean you came here to spy on us? If my men hadn't caught you, you'd be back with your outlaw pards by now, telling them the whole layout of this ranch. No matter what you think, your ranch is in danger. Boss, should we take his guns... He said he'd come along peaceable if we let his guns and that mask alone. Good right? idea. Hand over them guns, mister. I'll take them. I got the drop on you, and I aim to find out just who you are. Stand back! What? Oh. Don't make a move, any of you. Did you see that draw? Oh. Faster and greased like that. I warned you. Guard yourself against the outlaws. Wait. Wait. Stand where you are. Get him. Open that door. Get after him. Shoot him down. Don't let him get away. Oh. Uh, no use going after him. That horse he's riding goes like chain lightning. Ain't no use to even fire after him. Maybe he was honest, Bart. You heard him threaten us? Maybe he wasn't threatening. Huh? What he said could have been a warning as well as a threat. No one has a draw as fast as that unless he's an outlaw. There's one man has. Yeah? A man that rides a white horse, Bart. A horse called Silver. Silver? That's what he called his horse. I know it. Then great guns? He must have been the Lone Ranger. I've heard of him. If... If that was the Lone Ranger, then what he said was true. But what can we do, boss? First, we set out a double watch. All old hands that we can trust. But we ain't got enough men. No, we got enough men if we work all day and night. We take three hours sleep in 24. What else? Watch sharp and be ready to fight to the finish. That's all we can do. Our scene changes to the town of Osage. Tom Halstead has been asking the sheriff a number of questions, which the lawman has refused to answer directly. I ain't saying nothing about my plans, Tom, in case they don't work out. How's your wound? I told you before, Sheriff, it's all right. I'm as good as new thanks to that engine. Where is he anyhow? I don't know. Well, ain't there anything you can tell me? For days now, we've been waiting here. Just waiting. That's all. Cleaning guns, keeping horses saddled and ready to ride. 
What are we waiting for? Can't tell yet, Tom. How long will it be before you can tell? When's the next train due? How in thunderation do I know? Last train meant the wiping out of my ranch. If I never see another, it'll be too soon for me. I reckon you'll see more trains, Tom. Maybe the next one will be as much good luck as the last one was bad luck. Are you sure the cattle thieves use a railroad? Ain't sure of nothing. I'm just waiting, Tom. That's all. Just waiting. Sheriff. He's come. Tonto. You ready to ride? Is it time to ride, Tonto? Tell me, is it time to uh-huh. ride? Time here. Then come on, Tom. That's what we're waiting for. At last. That's what we kept the horses saddled for. Follow me. Lead the way, Tonto. Get men in town. I talked to every man in town separately, and they're all ready. Ride to the cafe. Tell the boys here it's time to ride. Tell them the Lone Ranger needs them. The Lone Ranger? I'll signal with my gun. Come on, boys. Come on, get riding. The Lone Ranger needs you. Get up there. Working quietly, Sheriff Burns had enlisted every available man in Osage. At his command, they mounted their horses and rode after him. At each ranch, they passed on their way. Even the smallest, the sheriff shouted to the men they saw. Come on, turn out! Turn out! The time's at hand! Get your horses and follow us! Get up there! As the hard-riding posse thundered on between Osage and Bart Cummings' ranch, their numbers increased. They passed through the sleepy town of Meredith, and once again the voice of Sheriff Burns brought men to join them. Turn out! Turn out, boys! Get your guns and horses! Come along with us! The Lone Ranger needs you! and his hard-riding men raced along, increasing their number as they went, the outlaws prepared their attack. It was some time later when the train they'd been expecting slowed down to a stop near the Cummings Ranch. It was the signal for the gang to start their raid. Remember what you're to do, boys, and don't miss out. There's a train all ready for us to load the cattle on. You sure your own men are in the engine, boys? Yeah, they'll be there all right. Train wouldn't have stopped if I hadn't. Head for the house first of all. Get Cummins himself, then his family, then the cowman. Last of all, the cattle. And don't leave no survivors. While the outlaws charged toward the house, Bart Cummings and four of his men drew their guns and stood ready. They knew their cause was hopeless, but they were prepared to make a desperate effort to defend themselves. We hear Bart as he cautions his wife. Lindy, you keep down beneath the window sill. I will. And as fast as your guns are emptied, pass them to me. I'll load. Oh, there they come. The train's already stopped at the track. The train that'll carry your cows away. They, they won't none of us see it. But take all of them you can, boys, before you go down. How close are they now, Bart? Not far. The moon makes things as bright as day. Lindy, take this six-gun. I don't know if they'll try to capture you, but don't let them. Save one bullet, just in case. I, I understand. They're starting. All right, boys. Four ladies. Got more men aboard the train. Look, them cattle cars are pouring scores of men out. And horses. How many have they got in the gang? Silver! Did you hear that? That's the same man we captured here. Great guns. Ah, the men on the train are fighting the others. It can't be true. It is. Look. Turn around, boys. the miracle has come. We don't need to fight. Look at them others riding down the field. Let's fight anyhow. Come on. Instead of waiting, we'll attack.
The outlaws were taken completely by surprise at the appearance of the sheriff and his men. The posse leaped from the cars and closed in on the gang. Lacey was shot in the fighting, and a score more of the outlaws went down before the posse's blazing guns. The remaining outlaws soon threw down their guns and surrendered. Don't shoot. Let me surrender. Let us all surrender. We'll face trial. You'll face trial, all right. Yeah, and you'll tell all you know about this scheme. It was Lacey's gang. Now uh, he's dead. He, he had everything lined up. Where's my cattle? I'm Tom Halstead. Your, your cows are sold, but, but give me a chance and I'll help you get the cash. The engineer of that train was in the gang, wasn't he? Yeah, him and the fireman. I thought so. I had to rope them. They wouldn't help smash the gang by stopping the train and take the sheriff and his posse aboard. Stranger, I thought when you was here the last time, you was making a threat. But then I found out what they call you. Come, Tonto. Cheryl Burns will take charge. Come on, Silver. Ah, oh, that's him, all right. All us rides away without thanks. And Cummins, on top of everything else, he smashed the worst gang this country's ever knowed. Oh, who is he? Don't know what right you got asking questions, but he's the Lone Ranger. Gosh. No wonder Lacey's gang was beat. Come on there, silver old boy. We have a reward to deliver. We'll make a poor man happy. I owe silver. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>